Does that, how often does that happen? Because I, you know, I'm a fan of the show called Supernatural. <laughs> and uh, a lot of times that actually does happen on the show where you have a spirit that, that fall, that's not tied to a location, but rather tied to an individual. Do you, do you find that that happens sometimes? Oh, he slid over there. That was me just being like, I'm just doing this. It's like dropping the mic. It's like, that was it. It was like, yeah, it's the convention version of a mic drop. Yeah, mic slide. That's cool. Jerry, Yeah, we get a combination. There are quite a few things that are more attached to location, whether it was, you know, where they had lived before or whatever the reason had been. But no, there are some that are attached to people. And objects. And objects. That we get actually a lot of times where people have activity all of a sudden start a house they never had it before, and they just recently bought something at a garage sale or an antique store or got something from their dead aunt. Or they, they want the grand piano. Actually, that's one of my questions I ask the client you know, when I go into their location. Is do you, well, a lot of people you won't realize actually have relatives' ashes in their houses, in urns, or they have grandmother's collection of china, or they have something that's really powerful for them. To the deceased individual, so we always got to keep that in mind too, because that might actually help us when we're uh, reviewing evidence, figure out what direction we could go in, you know. 